I have been planning to teach today what is perhaps the most important lesson in the course, the Austrian theory of the cycle. Here you have an essential chart intended to represent the extremely complex structure of productive stages, which emerges in a modern economy. Of course, it is impossible to represent our economy's productive structure using a chart, precisely because the structure is enormously complex. Nevertheless, we must make an effort to simplify it. As we will see together, this graphic illustration can help us understand many fundamental ideas of the theory of the cycle and of capital theory. Also, its use is long-standing in economic science. Economists from Jevons to Hayek, including Berm Baverk, have used charts like this one to depict the productive structure. So, now I will explain what this chart consists of, so you can all begin to understand it. We will go step by step. To begin with, I want to make it clear that all the figures in this chart are in monetary units. That is, they are values expressed in monetary units. Also, in a way, the chart reflects Menger's conceptualization of the production process. Remember that Menger used the term economic goods of first order to refer to those goods which directly satisfy human needs. In other words, goods which correspond to the end an action is meant to achieve. The final stage the actor seeks to pass through, and he described as economic goods of second order, or third or fourth, etc., those intermediate stages the actor must go through before he achieves his end. The higher the order, the further the stage is from the much-desired final consumer good. Well, here I have assumed, in order to simplify matters, that the production process comprises five stages each of which lasts one year. Stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, and so on.